welcome to tonight's guest, which is Julia Johnson, who is certification leader at Atlassian, if I got that title right. And she is joining us tonight from Seattle on the west coast uh, of the USA. So good morning to Seattle, Julia. Um, and without further ado, over to you and your presentation about how to build careers based on Atlassian certification and badges. And Great. I will just disappear. All right. Thank you very much. Thank you. So I have a lot of information to share with you today. So I'm going to go somewhat quickly. Um, the first thing I wanted to do was uh, do some housekeeping myself and share with you some information that can help you stay up to date with um, Atlassian and Atlassian University. So we now have a mailing list that you can subscribe to and uh, you can stay caught up with us about new training courses and badges you can earn. And uh, we also have event updates about summit, virtual summit, uh, other events. We have a set of live webinars monthly, which I'll tell you about in a moment. And uh, subscribing to our mailing list is also a great way to find out about promotional opportunities. And I'm going to tell you about a great opportunity later in our talk. Uh, to subscribe to our mailing list, go to go.atlassian.com, uh, uni hyphen subscribe. I'm going to give you that uh, URL a little bit later too, but uh, that's our first housekeeping piece. The other has to do with the live webinar series that I mentioned just a moment ago. Every month we do a technical webinar. Uh, they often have to do with topics you can find in our skill builder courses. They are live and then they are also uh, can be replayed on demand. So if there's a topic that you're interested in that you weren't able to attend, you can find all of our monthly webinars on demand. To find those, it's go.atlassian.com slash uni hyphen live. We have a, a particular on-demand webinar about certification that was made for Remote Summit in uh, April. It's called Certification, You Can Do It, Here's How. So if you wanted to get an overview of how to prepare for the certification exams, I suggest that you play that one in particular. That is go.atlassian.com slash cert hyphen webinar. So again, to see the entire series, go to uni live. To see the one about certification, go to CERT webinar. We have a new one coming up on the 18th of August, and it's called Managing the User Lifecycle in JIRA. So I encourage you to go to the UniLive URL and sign up for the August 18th webinar. Just to recap, here are those URLs at go.atlassian.com. Another thing I wanted to mention, I'm sure all of you are very familiar with Atlassian community, uh, but you might not be aware that there is a training and certification interest group that you can subscribe to. And uh, of course, if you're super interested in certification, you can put specific things about certification in your keyword search. Another very cool thing about community that we uh, launched in March was the ability to display your certification credentials on Atlassian community in your profile. So if you are already certified or if you just got certified yesterday, I encourage you to go to community and share your, uh, share your credentials on your community profile. It's quite easy. It's just a couple of mouse clicks. So let's get into the heart of the topic. Why should I earn Atlassian credentials? In uh, 2019, we did a survey of uh, a certified Atlassians, and they, they gave us some great information. I like to look at the bookends on the top and the bottom of this. This, to me, really says it all. 78% of people told us that getting Atlassian certified had enhanced their career opportunities, and 96% said it increased their confidence in their abilities using or administering Atlassian uh, products. I think this is a really significant endorsement. Um, 
I'm going to take a minute to tell you about our credentials and then I'll tell you about some specific opportunities we have for you. We actually have four levels of credential in Atlassian. The uh, skills badges, pro skills badges, and certifications. It used to be the case that the badges could only be earned by people who are certified, but about six months ago, we changed that and opened these, the badging ecosystem to anybody. So um, you can use uh, skills badges in order to prepare for certification or to uh, extend your certification. So to earn a skills badge, you will watch a uh, free skill builder course. They're about an hour long and they're a deep dive into a technical topic such as um, uh, uh, configuring and troubleshooting permissions or uh, issue security. Uh, it comes with a PDF that is a transcript of the slides and the narration. So you can download the PDF and try out the concepts. And then um, if you choose at that time, you can pass the online quiz and earn a badge for attending the free skill builder course. I just want to emphasize that these are two separate activities, the skill builder course and the badge test. So you can take the course anytime you like and you could decide to reserve earning the badge for later, even afterwards, so you could use it to extend your certification. Uh, a pro skills badge covers a, a slightly wider and deeper topic, and it's based on an Atlassian University advanced course or, uh, or a, a broad based course. For example, we have uh, pro skills badges on both JIRA Essentials for end users and also on advanced JIRA workflows. Um, so we try to reach wide audiences with our selection of pro skills badges. The Atlassian new course is optional. The central experience of earning the pro skills badge is to pass an online proctored exam. And um, that is uh, uh, $35 to earn that uh, badge. Certification is the um, highest level uh, credential that we have. And most of these are based on uh, having a couple years of hands-on experience in a particular role like Confluence Administrator, JIRA Administrator, et cetera. Um, the Project Administrator Certification, however, uh, is uh, based on um, a bundled training course so we sell a package with a, uh, an exam voucher for $100 and the training course is essentially free when you buy this. Um, and it prepares you uh, completely for the exam. So um, let's see, what else do we have? Oh, certification prep courses are also available for our certifications and those are USD $50. And the prep course is designed to help you uh, develop your study plan and strategize about the exam topics and figure out how to approach each of the exam topics in terms of you know, practice and learning. Finally, uh, we have a standing credential that is uh, called Atlassian Certified Master. And if you hold for four specific professional level certifications, then you will hold an Atlassian Certified Master standing for as long as those certifications um, are active in your profile. So that's a rundown of our credentials. I uh, wanted to take a moment to orient you to the Atlassian University learning path and how you can learn about our training and credentials by visiting a learning path on the training site. And then I'll show you how to find out about it on the um, certification site because it's slightly different. If you're new to Atlassian and our training, um, you should probably start at Atlassian University and you can see our different levels of training. And you can see these little emblems uh, on each of the trainings. These correspond to the credentials that I just reviewed. So if you are newly learning Atlassian skills, if you're newly learning how to be a JIRA administrator, then you may wish to start with our foundation courses and you can see which ones have badges. These are the skill builder courses I refer to. All of them are free and you can earn skills badges for them. Then when you're ready, you can graduate to 
uh, preparing for the certification and earning the certification. So what you'll see next is, um, now this is found at Atlassian.com slash university. What you'll see next is what this same layout looks like on the certification website. So if you land at Atlassian.com slash certification, you can scroll down and find this table. And you can find your role in the left-hand column. For example, if you're a JIRA administrator there at the bottom, you can see the certification, and then you could see the skills badges and pro skills badges that are attached to that role. So that's how to find all this information on the Atlassian websites. So let's talk about where to start if you are new to JIRA, and then we'll progress a little bit into our new, um, all of our new cloud offerings. We, we just have released in the last two months our very first cloud credentials. And what we started with were the JIRA Essentials and JIRA Essentials with Agile Mindset Pro Skills Badges. These are for all JIRA users. So uh, we recommend the Atlassian University course of the same title. And then you can go and take a, um, an online proctored exam to earn, uh, to earn one of these skills badges on JIRA Software Cloud. We have also just released last week our two cloud certifications in beta. I'll tell you more about what uh, beta means uh, in a moment. So we have managing JIRA cloud projects. This again is a bundle of a course plus an exam. And we recommend before you uh, start this course and exam bundle that you have the uh, JIRA Essentials class or around six months of experience uh, with JIRA. We also released the JIRA Cloud Administrator Certification. This is for somebody with one to two years of experience administering JIRA Cloud. And we have a CERT prep course and we have skill builder titles and then um, the exam. We have, uh, we have also recently overhauled the, um, the CERT prep course for both JIRA server administration and JIRA cloud administration to go into more depth than previous versions of the, those um, CERT prep courses do. So if you looked at that CERT prep course before, uh, we have a new version out since last month. I would encourage you to, uh, to go take a look again because we've really expanded the footprint and given more depth on all of the exam topics. So what I, re I really wanna tell you about today is this uh, fantastic beta testing opportunity that we have. Um, I'll tell you what a beta test is in a moment, but uh, you have the opportunity to, um, to participate in the Managing JIRA Cloud Project Certification for uh, the $100 price of, um, you can get the course plus exam, but the benefit of participating in the beta is uh, that you get a free retake if you don't pass the beta exam. If you're interested in the JIRA Cloud Administrator Certification, the, um, the promotion is really great. The test is usually $250. And during the beta promotion, the test is $50. So for $100, US you can get the CERT prep course and, the, uh, and a voucher to take the beta exam. So let's see. Let's see what we have here. Um, you might be wondering which certification is right for you. I know a lot of people play many different roles or wear many different hats with respect to JIRA. So you'll want to, uh, you'll want to pick the certification that is uh, um, most, uh, most fits your experience level. If you're just starting to learn JIRA administration, but you've been a project leader or scrum master for a long time, you might start with, um, with the managing JIRA cloud project certification. Um, these little checklists are on, uh, on the certification website, so you can take a look at both of these certifications and decide whether you want to, uh, 
do one of them or even both of them. There are no restrictions on participating in both of these beta opportunities between now and uh, September 15th when the beta ends. So this is a little calendar of the beta promotion. Um, in case you're feeling like you're not ready to start a certification right now, I wanted to point out that this, uh, this process goes on for the next couple months. So there's plenty of time for you to uh, get the course and study and start getting ready. So you can sign up today. I'll, uh, I'll tell you how afterward and uh, study for the rest of July and through August. You can make testing appointments um, today for testing starting on August 15th. So pre-registration is open. Testing goes from August 15th, or excuse me, August 7th till um, September 15th. So you would take the exam by September 15th. The, um, uh, with a beta test, you don't get your result right away. So it wouldn't be until October that you would become certified if you pass the exam. So again, plenty of lead time here for you to study and prepare and get really confident with your Atlassian skills. I promise to tell you a little bit more about beta test. Uh, the purpose of the beta test is for Atlassian to gather data so that we can pick the best exam questions. So there's a functionality in the test where you can comment on the test questions and your data and your comments help us shape the test um, for the, the future test takers. A beta test is the same length as a regular test. It's 180 minutes. Uh, some of you might be aware that a few years ago we had beta tests that had a ton of questions on them that were really hard to complete. We, uh, we heard your feedback and we don't do that anymore. So a beta test is really about the same length, regular test, only 75 questions. You can take it online proctored from home since COVID-19, the Atlassian Certification Program has changed our policies around taking certification tests, and all of them can be taken via online proctoring from your home. They're also available in testing centers if you prefer that. I know that sometimes online proctoring can be a bit of a hassle, so you can still go to a test center if your local test center is open. And I had mentioned that uh, your, your scores for your beta exam are, uh, are not available right away. So you'll wait till after the beta concludes in order to get your scores. Okay, how do you sign up for this opportunity? You'll go to the certification website at atlassian.com slash certification and uh, scroll down to the table that I showed you earlier and find the certification you're interested in. So we have an entire page dedicated to that exam and the certification. You'll want to download the PDF for the exam topics, look at the exam audience description, and on that page is um, a set of four steps telling you how to sign up for the beta opportunity. So all you have to do is just follow the instructions to sign up. Part of the experience is going to be getting a voucher from Atlassian uh, via email. And uh, when you get your voucher, you should sign up for the exam promptly. So you have um, a good choice of dates and times after August 5th. And so you have the opportunity to take the beta. Um, seats are limited. So we wanna make sure you sign up quickly so that we don't uh, close out beta registration before you have an opportunity uh, to get your appointment. Uh, Let's see, oh, just to recap, we have that webinar about how to prepare for your certification exams if you, uh, if you wanna watch that in conjunction with your studying. That was, um, that was what I had for you today. I'm going to, uh, I'm going to stop sharing now and uh, let's do some Q&A. Perfect, thank you very much. And while I promote everybody to panelists, I will ask the first question. Could you tell us a bit about your life cycle? So uh, what I noticed, I passed my first exam yesterday, yippee, um, was that, um, and in the past I noticed that also that the server tests are not on the most current um, 
version of the server, for example. And cloud changes all the time now. So basically they have weekly releases or something where they change something. Uh, so what does your life cycle look like? Um, how do you keep up with the, the, the releases and everything? And, and uh, how, do you, how do you handle that? So that's my first question. Right, great question. So um, we, for the server exams, we have, um, our goal is to make the exams uh, agnostic across enterprise releases in the most recent time frame. So what happens when we have a new enterprise release is we go to the exam and we look for questions that have become obsolete and we remove them, but we don't necessarily introduce questions on changes in the latest enterprise release because we want to make the exam um, uh, uh, accessible for everybody and if we were to uh, introduce uh, an iteration of the exam that tests on um, on new features then we would uh, we would flag that on the certification website and say you know effective a certain day um, the exam is only going to be valid for enterprise releases, you know, X and forward. Um, and that would give us the opportunity to introduce, uh, introduce testing on the new features. But for now, we're really focusing on testing on what is common among the enterprise releases. Okay. Yeah. Um, and we have one question in the Q&A box. Um, will you allow PayPal for certification payments? And if yes, when? That's a great question. Um, I think if Atlassian, um, if Atlassian takes PayPal, then you can buy a certification voucher from Atlassian instead of paying the test delivery provider by credit card. So um, I, will, I will try to find out if and when our test delivery providers uh, will accept PayPal. But I think if Atlassian does, it, I'm, not, I'm not sure if Atlassian ourselves accept PayPal, but if we do, simply go to Atlassian University and buy a voucher for your exam. And that will take care of that. Great question. I will, I will get to the bottom of that one and answer. As a cloud user, I haven't bought a license in a long time. So, um, um, anybody does anybody in the audience know if if Atlassian takes PayPal now? Hello, Hubert. Hello. Uh, do you think not? As far as I don't know, I don't know because I, know. I always pay with credit card. Mm -hmm. But I have a question. Mm -hmm. So tell me from my perspective. I have all certificates. I will do probably all for cloud. So does it mean for me that every two years I will need to take another six exam and pay for them? No. Because it works like right now like that, yes? Yeah? So I need to, for prolonging like Jira, I need to do Jira for Agile, Agile. And first of all, it's pretty expensive. Luckily, Atlassian changed the policy and prolonged that expiration date. That's, thanks you for that. But still like doing all that badges and so on, it's like painful, especially if you have to do plenty of them. Right, great question. So you don't ever have to take a certification exam again once you've earned it, as long as you um, maintain it by earning badges. So um, as we saw, the badges uh, are quite inexpensive and the skills badges, that's not that much of a commitment. You spend an hour watching a um, skill builder course and then you, you know, pay $20, you take your exam online. And most of these skill builders um, apply to more than one certification. So you can be strategic about which badges you, turn, you, um, you choose to earn in order to maximize how many uh, certifications each badge is extending. Uh, it's important to know that the, your certification is extended for two years from the date you earn the badge. So you might be interested in taking one of our skill builder courses if there's a topic that particularly interests you, um, but you might not want to take the quiz and earn the badge the same day you take the course because it's to your advantage to wait to earn the badge until close to the time of expiration of your certification. 
So you could separate those two activities in time. Oh, that's a good tip because I exactly did what uh, I did exactly opposite what you say. So I did everything at once, and after two years, they were not even certificate to prolong my. Uh, there were no batch to accept my certificate, let's say like that. And I was waiting for, oh, I hope the Atlas and we release the new one to, to not get expired. Oh, right. So because, I, you know, when I, I was doing like that, I did all, all of them 10 at once because I said, okay, I want to spend one month and do all of that together. And that's it. Don't hearing that anymore for the next one or two years, but maybe it's, it was wrong strategy. What you should do, um, go ahead and submit a um, support ticket to Atlassian University and um, direct it to me and I'll take a look at your, uh, your, um, your batch history and I'll take a look at what we have uh, coming out in the near term and you know, we can figure out what your best strategy is to do next. Cool. And so the same approach will be for Jira Cloud. So let's say if I will do the Jira Cloud certification, will I need to get a Jira Cloud badge plus a Jira Server badge later on, or it will be the same badge? Um, or you don't know? Yeah, they're going to be um, uh, across, uh, you can use them across different certifications, which is server and cloud. Yes. Okay, cool. Thanks for answering. Now suddenly my one certification doesn't look so grand anymore. <laughs> okay. But you need to start somewhere. I also started with one and then two. <laughs> I, and I was the one that did the beta for Jira and Confluence. So. Okay. I have another question. Do you have to make uh, also certification for Bitbucket? Maybe other tools, status page, I don't know. Whatever the Atlas and Acquire in the future, Jira Align. Is there a plan for that or not? We, uh, Bitbucket is not on the roadmap right now. We have, um, we have Jira Align, we're still trying to decide what to do there. I think there's a pretty good chance we'll have a, a badge out for Jira Align this year, but I'm not certain. Um, and uh, uh, yeah, status page, Probably a, a badge, but not in the not in the near term. Yeah. Cool. And do you know if you will have uh, more badges? So because I really enjoy doing the badges. Whenever it's released, I'm doing that because it's really cool to do that. And I like I'm you know achievement guy. So when I play games, I need to always full score everything. And I really like that. Ping! You get a new achievement. So it's the same with badges for me. <laughs> Sorry, <Yes>. I'm just. <laughs> Just going into a, a new development cycle this month to um, to produce a new series of badges within the next few months. So, yeah, by like by October we'll have more we'll have more things for you to do. Perfect! Yay! <laughs> Level up before Christmas. So, uh, uh, one question: um, If I if I saw correctly, I saw skills courses. I don't know. I'm not sure if there were badges involved from vendors. I saw one from EasyBI, I saw one from Tempo, and there was another one which I forgot. Uh, is that an, uh, a direction that you are going in to allow vendors to add to your portfolio, maybe also with certifications? I, you know what, I can't speak to that because that mm -hmm. came from the curriculum side of Atlassian University. Mm -hmm. So I'm not exactly sure what the direction is there. Okay. I think it sounds like a great idea. Personally. So I had this experience yesterday with cert metrics. So maybe I can share my online proctoring experience, um, which was um, quite a bit difficult because um, uh, they want the biometric profile. So it's not like Pearson or some of these others that, that wanted an ID or a passport or whatever. Uh, you have to type your name and they basically try to find out the rhythm that you type your name and save that as a, as a biometric uh, credential. And the other biometric credential is uh, your face. Um, and I have to say that that was quite, uh, so if you want to take an online proctored exam and have not done so, um, really, really, really read the instructions and really follow the advice to do that at least 24 hours before the event. Because if you start at 10 minutes before the exam, uh, it will end in tears. 
uh, because it's really, it's not easy to get this biometric profile filled out. Um, and um, be really careful how you type your name so that you can remember the rhythm that you used. Um, try to avoid typos and stuff like that. Not Do not like I did. Uh, because that makes it really, really difficult uh, after 20 hours to type in your name again and satisfy the machine that it's really you typing. So that's not that easy. Uh, that's just an advice from yesterday when I, um, for the online proctored exam. So set certain metrics like Pearson is very, very strict. Uh, so they will stop your exam if they see anything that's not right. Um, and uh, they do not want you in uh, a frontal, if they would not want to want the frontal view from you, they want to see you from the side. So they basically want to see your whole workspace, uh, you, your hands, your keyboard, your mouse, and your, your uh, screen. So basically at a 90 degree angle to your desk. So if you do not have a, an external video camera attached, do that before the exam because that could get you into trouble. Uh, and they are absolutely, um, there are no discussions. There's not even a person to talk to. There will be simply just a pop-up window that says, uh, hello, we have paused your exam. Apologies for that. Um, we, you have to do that. And then during my exam yesterday, for some reason they lost the camera feed and I had to reboot my computer and do all that again. So, I, uh, but they were fair enough so that they stopped the clock and I didn't lose any time and anything. But if you're in the middle of the exam and have to reboot your computer, um, that severely disrupt, disrupts your flow. So this just as an update from my side, online proctoring is not as simple as it sounds and you really should follow the instructions and install the program because they installed this program, which is called uh, Krypton Sentinel which basically takes over your computer during the exam and blocks everything. Um, you should really install that the day before and make sure that you have a, a clean computer and a clean machine um, that uh, allows that. Because if you have a firewall or some, I don't know, uh, some sophisticated virus scanner or, or whatever, um, this will break your exam. So um, it should be clean. Windows security only, nothing else because uh, everything else will basically block the script and Sentinel program. And I uh, uninstalled it after the exam and, I, and I'm a bit paranoid. I was thinking about reinstalling my computer for five minutes, but I didn't do that. So um, that was my experience. So um, there's, there's very good material and uh, kudos to you, Julia, that the material is excellent. Not only the exam preparation ex uh, material is excellent, uh, you have additional courseware to go back and, and look at some of the essentials, that's so really excellent, but also the, the material for preparing for the proctoring and all that stuff is really, really excellent. Uh, and you should read it and you should really start a day early because that saves you a lot of trouble when you start the exam. Don't do what I did um, and save yourself some stress in the evening. And you really have to test this stuff. That's my experience because you cannot just do it if you haven't done it before. So I'm a better tester for cloud as well. So the next exam will be a lot easier, hopefully. So that's my sharing of my online proctoring experience. Um, um, and I cannot even tell you if the certification centers, for example, in Berlin are open again. Um, don't know, I haven't looked at that. I have suggestion more than question. Can you make another lever after the um, Atlassian expert? After um, another level after- Atlassian, uh, what was the name of the Atlassian certified master? Certified master? Certified master, yes. Another level? Yes, I, <laughs> yes, another level, <laughs> please. <laughs> Atlassian <laughs> super master or whatever, master sensei Zwei. <laughs> Atlassian certified Hubert. <laughs> so um, an elite, an elite something. <laughs> I'll just call it the Hubert. <laughs> no, to, to be honest, I'm not the only one. If you, some of my friends on the LinkedIn is my, more like, you know, race, who will get more and so on. Yeah? So. I, I hadn't really ever even thought of it that way, that there are people who want to exceed master. I, I thank you for bringing that up. 
I'm going to bring that back to my team. They are such a strange people like me. Yes, they are. <laughs> so I, I actually know four people who could do that, who have been using personally, because they have been using Jira for 11, for 11 years now and have administered Jira in every size on the planet. Um, so like Hubert, what, how many users do you have? 16,000 or whatever? Yeah, yeah, something like that. Yeah. yeah so um, there is a level beyond that. So that, that uh, those are the guys and girls that talk to your guys and girls about how to develop stuff for the next version of Jira. So that's, there's a level, level beyond that. So, and I also know a few people at, at, when, um, at vendors um, who have also such a deep knowledge, a decade old knowledge that uh, rivals your development teams, I would say. So um, there is a level beyond certified master. Because Jira is not a tool, it's a way of living. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I'm so paranoid that even my wedding was in Jira, so you know. Ah, okay, and there was, um, there was one thing. Um, there, I saw somebody in Slack start a discussion about um, should the Atlassian Certified Master still be called, uh, still be called Atlassian Certified Master because the whole connotations, master and slave and all that stuff. And uh, master is a, uh, a particularly male uh, title. So you do not have a, a female master as mistress. So that would be something else. Um, so there are several reasons why master should not be called master. It should be something else. I don't know. Um, yeah, supreme. There's active discussion yeah. about that topic. So stay tuned. Okay. There will, there will probably be change in that area. Yeah. yeah. But that would be, but you have your challenge. So find something beyond <laughs> so like, with a gold star. I, uh, I accept that challenge. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So any other questions from the audience? Um, okay. Yeah. You can even, um, yeah, like military grades. So, okay, you have a general and a four-star general and a, and a three-star general and whatnot. Okay, so that's it. Oh, yeah. duty. <laughs> yeah, but of course, the, all these badges and everything, I think that's intentional. They have a gamification, exp uh, um, a gamification aspect. So it, it becomes a game. You, you, are, you are challenged, you want to have more badges. And you want to have, like these Russian generals from the Second World War, you want to have a, a huge chest with medals and everything and an order of Lenin and whatnot. So um, that becomes a challenge. Once you are in that, once you are going down that rabbit hole, that, that um, really becomes a challenge. Okay. Challenge accepted. Um, anything else? Accept the information that Real Madrid won La Liga. So. Yay, hooray, <laughs> yes, campeones, campeones. Okay, yes. so what is Real Madrid? <laughs> you, you, you know how to trigger me, yes. Real <laughs> Madrid, <laughs> La Liga, it always yeah. triggers me. Yeah, so campeones, campeones, addressing campeones, certified campeones. So that's, that would mean something, that would be Spanish, perfect. Champions, Atlassian champions, that sounds great. So, um, any other questions? No questions. Everybody happy. So with that, going once, going twice. Ah, here. Um, is there any available voucher discount for the cloud certifications? Yes, Julia mentioned that in her presentation, so you can watch it again on YouTube. That uh, the, if I understand it correctly, the better tests for the cloud uh, certification are currently discounted. Uh, by, I don't know, $100 the bundle or whatever. It's in your presentation. So uh, watch it again on YouTube. It's in there. The links will be in the show notes. So you can have all that information on YouTube in a couple of hours, days, whatever. So anything else? Okay. Then thank you, Julia, for spending your time with me and sharing all the information. And um, as you see, you have a lot of people eager to go be above and beyond whatever you throw at them. So keep up the good work and whatever you think about, 
um, I know at least some one person who will accept every challenge that you put in this way. So, <laughs> <laughs> okay. So with that, thank you again. Have a nice day in Seattle. Everybody else have a nice time in their time zone, uh, wherever you are. Um, and uh, that's it for today. And thank you very much. Next week, we will have another visit from Atlassian. So we will have the Confluence Cloud product and product marketing team in the house. They are on a virtual ACE tour and Lauren Harrison from the product team will join us to tell us about the new features of the Confluence Cloud and how to use that to supercharge your Confluence for your whole enterprise. So Atlassian again, but we always like to see Atlassian in the house. And with that, again, thank you, Julia. Hope to see you around come back. So if you have anything, if you have anything new to share, if you have something beyond master and want to put the challenge to us, um, drop us a line and we will be happy to have you again. Thank you so much. Okay. Bye-bye.